I'm Mike O'Leary and I watch all about sports on Haven TV. For the best dress So should you. Welcome to All About Sport. I'm Louise O'Reilly. I am here at the courthouse in Caventown for the launch of Run with Katrina 2015. Okay, guys, so here we go. We're going right in. Big, happy, smiley face. Let's hit them. Eddie, the glasses are on your head. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. That's lovely. So, right in. Big smiles, guys. Here we go. Good afternoon, everybody, uh, and welcome to this, this uh, third launch of the Run with Katrina event. An event that celebrates a, a truly remarkable athlete from County Cavan that has set, I suppose, the athletics world uh, ablaze now. Initially, starting off with the fields around here in County Cavan, with a, a, a Loretta singlet on her as she went out way, her way to winning. In our Ireland school title, but it just didn't stop there. And the story rolled on to into county victories in, in RD and then on to further field with the clubs uh, the same year below in Classy and Limerick. And then, of course, she, she hit the international scene uh, with remarkable achievements in, in, in four silver medals, European victories, and then, of course, on, on to representing Ireland in two, two Olympics in Barcelona and Atlanta. A truly, truly remarkable athlete. And the story, of course, as we all know, just didn't stop there. With a phenomenal debut then in, in the Berlin Marathon, and then, of course, a fabulous victory in, in, in the London Marathon. Katrina has won many, many, many races. But one thing she always did with, with the athletics community in Ireland is when, I suppose, the hearts and minds in terms of her honesty, her down to earth approach, and her enduring love of County Cavan in terms of her roots. So it's very fitting that the county is very much uh, continuing to acknowledge her achievements with the, with, with, with the third promotion of, of, of this uh, event. And it gives me a great honour at this stage as Chairperson of Cabin Sports Partnership to welcome Phelan Kelly from Athletics Ireland, Frank Greeley, Irish runner, DB Cycling Club, uh, who are supporting our endeavours this year to expand and to extend the event in terms of athletics participation and sporting activity for all within the county with the promotion of, of a cycling event. In Able Ireland, as a sponsor that we're very much uh, uh, close to, to Katrina's heart and very much that we want to be associated with. And of course, her own grassroots in terms of NAB Club, who are obviously have been a tremendous asset in supporting Katrina along the way, but equally are continuing that excellent work on the ground in terms of the support that they're giving to the young athletic talent within, within, within the county. So at this stage, it gives me great pleasure to call on the Chairman, Paddy Smith, to address the audience. Thank you very much. As Cahir of Cavan County Council, I want, I want to welcome you all here today. I want to recognise uh, Des McGuire, Acting CEO of Cavan County Council, and also Caroline Brady, uh, Community and Enterprise. Um, ladies and gentlemen, special Special guest today is Katrina McKiernan. She's here to launch uh, the third annual Run with Katrina, and I'm delighted to be here as part of this today. Uh, this is sponsored jointly by Cavan Sports Partnership and the Anna Lee Boutique. Then we 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 we'll just we we'll just uh, go on to Katrina. Uh, because she is the, the, the real star here today. Um, when she was at the height of her career, Katrina was a member of staff of Cavan County Council. And we were always immensely proud of the dedication that she showed and the, the, the way she put Cavan on the national and indeed the international stage. 
In 2013, the then county manager, Jack Keyes, initiated a dedicated run to mark Katrina's achievements. Together with the, sports, the, the Cavan Sports Partnership and the Cavan Town Club and the Lee Athletics. And so the run with Katrina was born. At Katrina's request, the event, the event was made to include people that could walk or jog or run. She recognised that five, kil five kilometre is both an achievable and a commendable goal for, goal for all participants. And indeed, I could even stretch that far myself uh, at a little bit of an effort. So she, she thought of people like me that have no great, uh, that have nothing great to offer to athletics. I was telling her earlier, my, my only claim to fame in regards to athletics was that I was the first chairman of the, the, the Innyvale Athletics Club up at Valley Gym stuff. So that's my claim to fame in relation to athletics. Um, this year, the, the event has even grown to include the 5 and the 10 kilometer route, along with a cycle, along with a cycle route, and also the, the cycle sportive on Saturday, as well as an expo on Saturday afternoon where the attendees can listen to an inspirational story of Katrina's Irish, from Katrina's for on Katrina's achievement and also her Irish sporting counterparts. Um, I was just reading an article on the set last week about, and it's just a coincidence, that her good friend Pather O'Brady up at Kilnalek uh, wrote an article about when Katrina won the, the London Marathon back in '97. So she's always in our hearts, she's always a headline in Cavan in relation to, to athletics and indeed any sporting events. So um, Cavan County Council is proud to once again be a key partner in this event. I would like to thank and congratulate all partners and sponsors involved in the event and wish you every success in 2015. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Chairperson. Um, there are, of course, very close links between Katrina and Cavan County Council going back to her work placements here uh, many, many years ago. And I suppose uh, that link is being continued in a sporting sense with the excellent work that Cavan Sports Partnership does in terms of promoting uh, sporting endeavours throughout the, 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 the county itself. Now it gives me great pleasure to, uh, to introduce to you Frank Freely. Frank, Frank gave us massive support. Sit down by Frank. Frank gave us massive support for the event uh, two years ago with the inaugural launch of the Run Wicked Trina event. But then again, that was no surprise because Frank's enthusiasm for athletics is renowned uh, through the, predominantly through the work of the Irish runner. And I, I just saw there recently, uh, Frank was a tremendous athlete in his own right. And I think it's the 45th anniversary of the 10K uh, track, uh, track time that you set for the Irish Junior 10,000 metres. So, congratulations again on that, and it's great to see you and Kevin today. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> yeah, indeed, it's a, it's a privilege and a pleasure to be here, and uh, to also say, on behalf of Athletics Ireland as well as our CEO John Paul, you know, the very best wishes to uh, Katharina. And I'm delighted to say I'm hoping to run it this year, and that's a, that's a change as well. Because uh, Katrina has helped me an awful lot in the last, particularly the last several months. I had this old record in Dublin, and herself and David Carey and Phil Kelly here, they got me kind of motivated uh, and at, at the age of 64 to kind of get out and do something to celebrate it this year. It was 45 years in existence. And I started out, there's a message I think for everybody in this young or old, I started out on, on their uh, listening for once in my life, uh, instead of going out full tilt and trying to get fit, I listened to good advice and walking for three minutes and running for one and keeping that going for, for uh, a number of weeks until I got up and, up and going at it. 
And, you know, if I can do it, anybody else can. We were able to run, thanks to God, last Tuesday night for 30 minutes and 17 seconds, nearly run about close to 5K. So if you keep chipping at it over the next number of weeks, whether you want to walk or run or whatever you want to do, uh, it's within everybody's compass, you know, whatever you're going to do with it. Uh, it's great. I, I remember coming up here for uh, the, the event uh, over the last number of years as well, and there's a great whole buzz and a great pulse in, in, in Cavan Town on that whole uh, weekend as well. I think it's going to be much bigger and, and more exciting than ever, and I think the, the whole thing of adding a cycle uh, to it as well, it adds a whole broader dimension to the community as well. Um, I've been privileged to have been around uh, Katrina's events uh, from her very early days when she was running, and I, I, I was especially pleased to be in Berlin for her debut marathon, and I was in London when she came down the mall and treated us all to such a, you know, memories that would last forever. I wasn't at the cross countries, the four cross countries, but uh, I was there in spirit, I guess, you know. And uh, I think what Katrina is giving back you now is, is hugely important as well. She's shown that motherhood and that uh, continuing to run, and continuing to run at a huge level, a high level, running third like there in, in, in the women's mini marathon, uh, running, beating a lot of the younger athletes still. But I think now she's kind of taking a little backseat and saying, running, embracing the whole recreational end of running, and she can inspire so many people doing that. I think it's going to be a great event. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to it now because I've got to keep the momentum going. And I'm looking forward, rather than spectating out on the side and tapping everybody, I'm going to be part of the thing this time. It's great uh, to see Kevin County Council, uh, the sports partnership as well, uh, involved because that's the whole reach into the community. And I think it's, you know, more than ever in Ireland, we need that community connect. I think it's the one thing that will save us and get us up on our up and fully functioning as a nation again. It's, it's not going to be relying on Dublin to, to solve our problems. We can solve them right within our own communities. And if we have healthy and fit and, and progressive communities, uh, you know the sky is the limit for this country because we have, we have that, it's in our DNA. And we lost a bit of it during the Celtic Tiger. We lost the connectivity. We're get, running is bringing it back, the running community and the cycling community. People are talking to each other a lot more now. They're communicating a lot more. And you see parents as well are becoming role models. And there you can see people up in the park runs in Dublin, and you'll see them here, where people are actually running with their kids. So running becomes normal. It's a normal activity to do. You don't have to preach it to kids. And uh, all of this thing is good. We, we, we say a lot of things are wrong in the country, but there's a lot right too, you know. And it's events like this, honouring icons of athletics like Katrina, uh, they're very, very important to us, you know. We see football and we see, you know, hurling and football, we have our stars. By God, you have one special star in Cavan, and her name is Katrina McGeeran. The very best to look, Katrina, and looking forward to be on the line that day. Yes. Okay. Yes. to the event itself. It's greatly appreciated with the national magazine that you excellently coordinate and that the run with Katrina will be very much, as always, prominently fe featured within that. In terms of extending the event for the coming year, we, we give a lot of consideration to, to, to uh, a, spo a, a, a sponsor being brought on board. And again, as with all, all, all decisions with Katrina, the right decision was very much taken with Enable Ireland being an associate sponsor of this particular event. So it's at this stage I'll call in Colette to the Hine to, to speak a little bit about Enable Ireland. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation for, um, to Enable Ireland and we are privileged and delighted to be chosen as the charity for this year's One Week Katrina. Um, Enable Ireland is a national organisation providing services to children and adults with physical disabilities. Here in Cavan, um, we provide services to children not to six years of age who have a physical um, disability, learning disability, and maybe query autism or developmental delay. Um, we are in, here in Cavan since December 2010, and we have now got a caseload of approximately 225 children, and they're aged not to six years who are accessing our service. Um, the service has grown over the years, 
and um, it is you know, a great service to the families um, who actually you know, required services to children at such a young age. And we are delighted and privileged to be part of this year's event with Ron Katrina. I'm not saying that all the staff will be partaking in the Ron Katrina, but we will be in their support. Um, support. And I will, um, can confirm that the money that we will receive from this year's event will actually stay within local services. And we have, plan at the t we have actually, well, in December 2010, when we started our services first in Cab, we were based in Send. Um, sorry, December 20, sorry, 2000, yes, yeah, sorry, beg your pardon. Um, December 2000, we were based initially at St. Phelan's Complex, and then we moved out for a few years to Kiligary Enterprise Centre. But we have now, we are now in our purpose built business um, um, centre on Valley James Duff Road, Hillside, Rock Carrick. Um, and we, at the time the building was completed, there were there are foundations for hydrotherapy pool at that stage. Um, unfortunately, with funding, we have, it's been quite limited, um, so things have been a bit of a go slow with our hydrotherapy pool. But we are hoping that the money that we receive from this um, great event will actually be put towards that um, fundraising and will help us along with our plans to bring it um, into reality. Okay, so I wish um, the event the very best of luck and we look forward to it taking place in October. range of services you provide with it within the community. In my introduction, uh, when you put your foot in it, you keep, I keep putting my foot in it in the sense I kept referring to you as a sponsor, but like a, we don't have the money for it. Like a tick, uh, fast thinking Corkman is all Corkman are, I'd say, a sponsor in the sense that you're very much giving us more to the event than, than perhaps we giving to you. It very much embraces the spirit of the event itself in the sense we see this event reaching out to all within the communities within Cavan and that very much aligns to the excellent work that, that you are doing. So thank you, thank for, you for, for your association you. with the event. I suppose the first time Katrina herself came, came in, uh, became known to the, to the athletics world, um, she was very shy indeed, but I think she's lost some of that shyness and public speaking is another area she, she's very strong to the forefront of. So at this <laughs> stage it gives me, that, yes, very much so, it gives me great delight to introduce Katrina to you. Okay. Thanks very much and uh, I'm delighted as usual, usual to be at home and to launch the race here today. Um, it's something I'm very, very proud about because uh, um, to have the race and I suppose young people that wouldn't have known of my success and, and all the hard work I put in, it's great that they can get to know a little bit more about me and I hope that I can inspire you know, the people in Cavan to realise that if they can train hard and participate in races, that they can also achieve. Um, I'm delighted that Liberty Insurance have come on board again uh, to, to be the sponsor, and Cavan County Council, as usual, I had some great uh, celebrations here after I came back after races, and uh, the late Brian Johnson had some good jokes and entertained us all during the evening, and. Uh, it was some great memories and that was one of the things, I always say this, but the fact that I had such, such support from people in Corner Fane, everybody in Corner Fane and of course everybody in, in the county, uh, that was a real driving force for me to train very, very hard up and down the hills there on the, on the golf course and it was something that was always in the back of my mind when I was out in all sorts of conditions and I knew if I trained hard that I was going to win races and give the people of Cavan and indeed the people all around the country uh, something to, to celebrate and um, as I said that was people often ask me you know how did I get the, the willpower and the strength and um, that was certainly one of the driving forces and uh, Brian Johnson used to organise Play loads of people to come to different races, the, the World Cross Country events in particular and the, and the London Marathon. And knowing that they were there cheering me on, I just I couldn't come home without a medal. It would be a very, a very lonely plane on the way home. I'm sure they would have uh, got drunk anyway, but uh, it gave them uh, an excuse to, to celebrate. Um, 
Right. As, as I was going to say, uh, we had a great event there in San Gina yeah, and last week uh, we were celebrating um, Frank's uh, 45 years since he broke the, the national junior 10 kilometer <coughs> record, which still stands, which is amazing. And uh, Frank is a great inspiration to people that's thinking of getting into running uh, in their later years, Frank. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no excuse, I think, you know, when you can prepare and, and build up gradually, there's no excuse why you can't run a 5K. So two of the ladies here was uh, <laughs> contemplating it and I hope I encouraged them and they have lots of time now to prepare between now and, and uh, the 10th or 11th of October. And for me, running, running was my life and it still is my life and most of my friends I, that I met was through running and um, it's, it's a great sport to be involved in. And, you know, everybody's very down to earth and when we're at a start line of a race, everybody's there just for themselves to see what they can get out of themselves. And, you know, regardless of what level you're at, we all challenge ourselves and uh, try to see what we, what we can get. And, you know, that's, that's the beauty of it. And um, I think there's no excuse why people can't get out and, and do a little bit of exercise because I can guarantee you that you'll feel, feel much, much better in yourself as a result. Um, I'm looking forward to the race and, you know, people think that I organise all of this, but to be honest, I just kind of show up on the day or the evening beforehand and, you know, all the members in the athletic club really rope in and um, really put a lot of effort and this year we're even putting in a, a bigger effort and having the cycle uh, the day beforehand, I think it's a great idea. And then on the evening we have a, an expo and we're going to have some very exciting speakers on the evening and you know it will not be just for people that cycling and running, we're going to have speakers that will help everybody and give information to people, to just the general public. And uh, I think it's a great idea to have that and to really, to really build this race and um, um, celebrate my achievements which I'm very very proud of. And, uh, Hopefully we'll have good weather. The last couple of years has been very, very kind to us and uh, I've no doubt it'll be a great day and uh, we'll just all work hard together and uh, a day that uh, everybody will remember. So uh, I want to thank Frank and Phelan from, for coming down from Athletics Ireland and they said they'd help us out in whatever way they can as well. So uh, thanks very much for, for coming down. Thanks very much. Backwards, don't we? Thanks very much, Katrina. Uh, throughout your athletics career, you were a great source of inspiration uh, right throughout Ireland, but particularly so within County Cavan itself. And this event it gives us another opportunity of, of ex extending the, the, the admiration for you within the county, but also giving an opportunity for mass participation in, in, in sporting events that this particular event does uh, give, uh, give us all. And I very much want to concur with your uh, warm acknowledgements to, towards and a lead athletic club and DB cycling club in terms of the excellent contribution that they're making to this event and, and, and the, the profile that this event will, will have not just for this year but for many many years moving forward. So on behalf of Cabin Sports Partnership I just want to conclude by thanking you all for attending today and as, we, as the weeks very much quickly roll by we very much look forward to a very successful event again coming this October. Thank you. Congratulations, another very successful launch for Run with Katrina. Yeah, we had a great launch here today for Run with Katrina and we had representatives from the County Council and the Sports Partnership and it's going to be great this year in that we have uh, two races taking place and also on the Saturday the day before we have a cycle, two cycles, a 50km cycle and a 100k cycle and then in the evening time there's going to be an expo which will have some great speakers uh, speaking about cycling and running and you know diet as regards sports and also uh, the psychology behind sports so it's going to be open to everybody and everybody's invited to come along. It must be very encouraging for you to see it expanding in this way. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 and that's, you know, what uh, and the Lee Athletic Club, they're really driving force behind this and they're going to put in all their effort and we're all going to work together and, you know, we're going to get, have a big, big event and it's going to showcase it happen and we'll get people from all over the country coming to it and it'll be a day that people will remember and I'm very proud that there's a race in honour of my name and um, during my career I worked hard and it's great to have this event every year and uh, it's something I'm very, very honoured about. So it's not just for elite sports groups but also caters for all age groups. Absolutely, yes, yeah, it's for, for young and old and uh, even people that want to walk, that's, you know, people last year we had a, a good many people walking it and uh, it's great to see, you know, it gives me a great lift to see young people out because we need to really encourage our, the, this, you know, the younger generation because, you know, it's different than when I was growing up, we just, if we wanted to go somewhere we'd run around, we'd have to run or we'd have to cycle but now they're being brought in cars so they really have to have a structure in their exercise routine and I think with, you know, the parents showing good example by them getting out exercise and that should be of benefit to the children and that's important because, you know, children need to be, be active and, and keep fit and healthy. Katrina, you're very well known internationally in the sports world, but how would you encourage people to get involved in sport, in particular for their health benefits? Yes, well for me, like I was always very, very active and it was uh, just part of my life and uh, it was something that gave me a great feeling of confidence and feeling of well-being and, you know, I would like to, to send that message home to people in that when they get into an exercise routine that they will feel, feel much, much better in themselves and, you know, when children are at school and sitting exams and all of that sort of thing, if they can get out and do a little bit of exercise, it, it clears their head. So it's an important and it's a continuous repetition, like, you know, getting out three, four, five days a week it's important and have a healthy healthy and active lifestyle. So one final question, how would you encourage people to take part in Run for Katrina? Well, especially for the five k five kilometres, like it's very very doable for people, uh, and we have a good many weeks now in the build up to it. And there's an, an app that people can download. It's it's Couch to Five K, and it gradually brings them up to being able to run five k. And it's over a period of six weeks, so there's no excuse for people to get out and get active and feel good in themselves because that's what running does for you. So here we go. We're looking right in. Great, big big smiles. Here we go. Lovely. And just hold it again for one more. Seamus, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us on All About Sport. You are MC for the very important event, Run for Katrina, that's taking place this October. Yeah, I'm going to be looking forward, this is my first time I'm going to be part of the event and looking forward to doing the MC for the Run with Katrina. So I've done a number of running events but I'm most looking forward to doing this one. Uh, obviously Katrina an icon and a legend in Cavan here and also throughout the country so it's going to be a great run adding in the 10k alongside the 5k, obviously the cycle and it's going to be a, an all-inclusive event for people walking, jogging and running so I think it's going to be a, a really exciting event and it's going to I think show the town and, and flourish it as well as getting everybody physically active. This event is expanding year after year. This is very, very encouraging, James. Yeah, well, I think, you know, running is uh, spread across the masses now. It's not just for kids or, or even the elite, it's for everyone. It's a challenge for everyone. I think health and fitness and the mind has all become uh, all inclusive now. And I think people are becoming aware of the benefits of exercise. And I think just basically that. You know, it's, it's a whole positive thing. They can be inspired by Katrina to take part, but just to do the best that they can do individually. And, you know, just the endorphins, the buzz. I think everybody knows the value of exercise, you know, cycling and running and just the feel-good factor, how much better you think and how much better you feel pretty much after exercising, especially with a lot of numbers. I think there might be even a 1,000 or more here. That's the, the goal anyway, I think. And uh, I think it's going to be a great event. All those couch potatoes out there for everybody who needs to just get up and get out and get involved. What do you have to say to them? Yeah, I think for the, for the couch potato, well, the editor of the Irish Runner magazine, Frank Greeley, is going to be here. I know Katrina does a lot of coaching with people who are just getting into running, so I think it's taking your time. You've a number of weeks to get ready, and uh, there's the famous uh, walk, jog, uh, training approach. So walk a minute, jog a minute, and then you can try and build it up there and uh, get going from there. So I think there's plenty of training schedules and stuff that you can look up online as well. The simple approach, walk when you feel tired, get jogging a little bit, and uh, build up as you go. So that's it from All About Sport from the launch of Run With Katrina. I will be back again at the same time next Wednesday evening at 7pm. If you would like your sport featured on the show, simply contact drumlinmedia at gmail.com or tweet me at Sport. So it's goodbye from me, Louise O'Reilly.
Thank you.